my good friend David Woodford and his son Jason had read it and they said uh, we should follow this up and make a documentary so I said well that's not a bad idea so it's the approach various friends that all had something interesting to say. Climaxed it at the Albert Hall by burning the American flag. We weren't interested in politics, we weren't interested in, in as much as we just didn't think there should be so many guns around. You know, and I, I realised that when you combine three soloists together like that, it's just a trio, uh, I, I, I knew that we'd have the best band. I think one of the things I really like about Keith and his shows, the shows that he puts out, it's never the same thing twice. All the shtick he did with his hand organ, you know, fighting with it, making love to it, stabbing it. I remember interviewing a lot of managers for them, including David Geffen, who became one of the most famous people in the music business. I think it was Greg actually said to me, well, why, why don't you do it? I said, I don't know anything about it. And I think he said, well, nobody else does. Well, that's very natural. Frank. Yes, hello, Keith Emerson. Mm -hmm. Hello, Greg Lake. Hello, Carl Palmer. Because <laughs> at one stage, ELP were uh, uh, a stadium band like no other, like no other before. Uh, of course, the Beatles weren't a stadium band because they gave up in 65. <laughs> the only band that were in their league was, was Led Zeppelin at that time. We're gonna give you pictures of an exhibition!